Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. This time we have the Legend of the Eagle's Nest. The mod adds a new and unique fortress to the game. It also comes with a quest where you have to rebuild the home to its former glory. To begin the quest you need to find a dead eagle just outside of Riverwood. Then search its body to find a Legend of the Eagle's Nest book and key. Reading the book begins a quest, where you first need to find the fortress and then pay different amounts of gold to new NPCs in Riverwood to upgrade it. It's all very simple and similar to how you'd upgrade one of the vanilla homes, and we're sure you all know how to do that, so we'll leave that quest for you. The home itself, once upgraded, contains a variety of unique features that make it stand out above the average player home. Its location is great and the long journey up the mountain has been planned out very well and will take you inside a carved out piece of mountain, and then back out towards the fortress's main entrance. The exterior has been broken up into seven different smaller areas, including a forging area, a training area and a couple of other places where you can get a nice view of the surrounding area. The courtyard also provides a secret entrance and exit, so once you've upgraded you can use that to quickly go down to Riverwood in the flash of a second. The interior has also been broken up, but only into four pieces. The Eagle's Nest is the main indoor area and includes most of the usual things for a player home, so a place to eat, sleep and drink. And there's also an office to store any books you've been hoarding. The home is designed to be similar to an Eagle's Nest, so while it definitely has some tight spaces, it's also cosy and warm. The Alchemy Tower contains a small alchemy area, but it has more than enough containers to hold all of your ingredients. The Alchemy Station, along with the Forge, also have a unique upgrading feature and you can pay either 10 pieces of coal or 1 fire salt to heat up the stations to receive either a fortify alchemy or smithing buff. The other two indoor locations are the stables, which holds a livestock you bought in Riverwood when upgrading, and a mine called Stone Tree, which is the carved out piece of mountain you had to walk through to first find the nest. While in Riverwood you can also hire a few NPCs to work around the home, including a guard, a miner and a steward. Both the steward and miner can sell you things and the guard makes for a decent companion. And overall, the home's cold exterior, but warm cozy interior theme isn't one we see too often, and the new NPCs and quests help tie the whole thing together to make it a great mod. So if it's been a while since you've tried to play a home, then we think you should give this one a go, and as always, remember to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.